What's up everyone? Karu here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And in this video, we're going to review a racket that I've been meaning to test for a long time. I'm, I was very excited to actually get the opportunity to hit, hit with this racket. It's the Yonex V-Core Pro 97 HD, which is the new uh, 1820 version of the V-Core, something that they never had before. Uh, I was really excited to hit with this racket. Uh, I have a bunch of thoughts about it. So right off the bat, uh, I just wanna say I really like the racket, uh, but there were a few issues with it that I will address throughout the video. And for testing purposes, I just went through a normal practice day, uh, hitting through the middle, hitting cross courts, playing points, serving, uh, doing a few drills that I usually like doing in my practice sessions, so I could really get a feel for the racket. But before we get to that, let's just see what were my first impressions of the racket. All right, so first impressions here. Let's see how it feels. It's definitely a bit heavy in the head. It's like, it's just kind of interesting. But man, it's good. Whew. For my game, it's unbelievable. Oh. Mm. Right. Mm. God, this is a good racket. Jesus Christ. It's good. It's not... Sweet spot is fairly big. Mini. It's just, you really got to make sure you swing through it. But it's not, it doesn't feel like a, like a prestige or like that one. It feels like a little more uh, soft and forgivable. And if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps us. Uh, we, we're really excited to keep putting content out. I think you guys are enjoying and we're really enjoying doing this. Uh, so please give it a subscribe. We really appreciate it. So with the ground strokes, there, there's a lot to unpack here. So bear with me. Uh, there, here's where I really was surprised about some things and uh, really enjoyed some things. But this will be helpful for you guys thinking about buying this racket. The first thing I noticed, and you can see from the first impressions video, is that the racket has a lot of mass. I was not expecting that as much because it's only 320 grams, and the balance point is only seven seven points head light. So I wasn't expecting it to be that head heavy. It, it, the racket really feels head heavy. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of uh, weight on the grip. And for me to notice this right from the start is a little bit unusual because I do play with heavy rackets. I always played with like 330 grams unstrung. So picking up a racket is only 320 grams and feeling that it was kind of difficult to swing, to be honest. Um, I was not expecting that from this racket. I'm the type of player who likes to kind of hog the baseline. Um, and sometimes I don't fully swing out with the racket. So rackets are a little bit too heavy uh, on the head. For me, they're a little tough to control because, again, I'm a little close to the baseline. Uh, I need that maneuver maneuverability. Uh, so I... I really liked the way the racket fell, but I it, I was caught by surprise by the mass. And I read a lot of reviews about this racket. I, I, you know, I was going online, seeing what people were saying, and most people said it was a really a, a really good racket for control and a really maneuverable racket. And that was definitely not my experience. I was like, well, that, that's not necessarily the most maneuverable racket. And I gave it to my friend who was hitting with me. And it's like, well, this feels feels head heavy. Um, so that was, that's something to, to think about uh, if you're looking to get this racket. It's not the most maneuverable uh, racket, at least from my experience. Uh, again, it's, it's still like a fairly controllable racket and I think, you know, if you balance properly, uh, it's a great racket. Um, it, 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 I was just caught by surprise. I really didn't think uh, it was going to be that, uh, that kind of hard to swing. Again, it wasn't like necessarily terribly hard to swing but like every once in a while I would catch a ball late that I was not a it would just be late because I didn't swing I guess the racket quickly enough uh, because of the mass another thing that I was expecting from this racket was that it was going to provide a lot of control um, I mean that's what pretty much every review said it was like you know players uh, can swing out because there's a lot of control but in my experience as I was hitting with it I was like wait wait a second there's a lot of plow through this shot here um, and even though, you know, it's an 18-20 string pattern, the ball kind of has a lower trajectory through the net. 
Um, if you miss hit with all that mass, the ball, would, I would have some wild misses. I was just like missing long. Again, this is like my first time playing with the racket. I'm sure I would adjust, but I was just expecting it to be way more controlled, but more like a prestige that you can really swing out and that the ball pockets um, a lot in the strings, where this one, because of the mess uh, over in the head, I mean, it, it was just sometimes just shoot the ball out of the racket and, and fly along. So I was struggling a little bit in the beginning with it, even though I was loving the feel of the racket. Every once in a while, I would just have that wild miss that I was like, oh, this is, this is kind of odd. Again, I think it comes down to just uh, a little bit of balance, a little bit too heavy on the head for me, but uh, I was not expecting. So it's low key a fairly powerful racket. I, I don't I don't know why everyone is saying that it's it's made for control because um, my experience I, I was like I could if I swing too much I think my ball is just gonna fly a little bit. Uh, it could be my game style, but um, it definitely caught me by surprise the amount of power I could get with the racket. And none of these things are technically bad things. There are some players who will love to feel that. It's just, you know, obviously my experience. Um, besides that, the racket feels amazing. It's one of the best rackets for ground strokes I've hit in a while, like new rackets. For my game, the 1820 string pattern is great. The trajectory of the ball coming off the racket was awesome. It wasn't, you know, some 1820 rackets, the ball just kind of lasers through a little bit. You have to force it to go up. This wasn't the case with this racket. It really had a good shape, uh, but it wasn't too up and down or too linear. So whenever like, I did make con good contacts uh, in front of me that I wasn't caught by surprise with the weight of it, um, I really was hitting the ball big and a little bit effortless. So I, I really enjoyed the racket. The, the 59, 59 stiffness uh, really provides like a nice buttery feel uh, through the shot. One thing I noticed is that there isn't a lot of feedback on the miss hits and I think again it's because of the the head being so heavy that you know the miss hits like you don't feel it as much on the arm which is for me I kind of like knowing when I don't hit the ball in the center of the strings uh, but for a lot of people it will feel easy on the arm it's actually a very easy on their arm racket for how thin it is and all that it feels like a player's racket but it's not that terrible on the arm so uh, if you like rackets that aren't too stiff, but they're still like player rackets, this, this can be a good one for you. Personally, if I were to play with this racket, I would have to add uh, weight on the grip to counterbalance that mass over at the top of the racket. I just had a hard time with shots that were coming at me super hard. Uh, and if I was on the move, uh, having to manage the, the weight of the racket, the, of the head, it was a little bit out of my comfort zone. Again, it could be for someone else, it could be perfect, but it was a little bit out of my comfort zone how heavy the head was to manage those shots. So I would need, need it to be just a little more balanced towards the grip. So I'd have a little more maneuverability up on the head. Uh, but besides that, fantastic racket. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. So I definitely recommend you go out and, and hit some balls with it. All right, now moving on to serves. Oh my God, this is a good racket for serving. Seriously, one of the best rackets I've ever hit a serve in my life I think it's because again going back to you know how how much mass it has on the head it just swings through the ball like crazy I was hitting some big serves you can you can see some of the kick serves that were bouncing crazy high um, the record just felt amazing for serving in stock version I don't know for my game I don't think I would leave it like that because I'm more of a baseliner but for someone who is looking for a racket to just plow serves this is the racket. No, seriously, it's so good for serving. Uh, I was shocked. I, you know, I, you guys saw it. I recently tried the E Zone and the V Core, and I thought those were gonna be much powerful than the V Core Pro uh, HD. And no, I was completely wrong. This thing just plows through the the serve. It's amazing for serving. I'm not used to playing with rackets that are typically that head heavy. Um, but I know a lot of big servers like that because you know they're they're banking on uh, you know winning three points on their serve and all that. So I think for you players um, who like playing that one-two punch serving and volley, maybe uh, that just wants something that really is gonna. It's not only powerful but precise because you know again it's a kind of a player's racket, a thin thin beam and all that stuff. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy players that are looking for something like that. I think it might be a little bit easier than, than playing with the pro staff or with a with a prestige or anything that is like a little bit too powerful. This is a good middle ground. 
Um, but man, what a racket for serving. I think um, I haven't really felt that good serving with any racket that I can remember, to be honest. So if you're looking for, if you're, you know, if you have a good motion ready, again, I don't think it would be the easiest racket for, for beginners. But if you're looking for, um, if you're a little more advanced, you're already, you know, your serve is your weapon and, you know, you're looking for a racket that is going to really bring your weapon to a new level. Um, I think you really need to try the, this racket. It's phenomenal for serving. So moving on to volleys, um, the theme is going to be kind of the same throughout this, this video. Uh, just that mass up at the top of the racket, it just felt, you know, for volleying, it felt like it was a little bit too much. It was not easy uh, to control some of the volleys. It didn't feel bad. I, I, I liked it for volley, but just there was just a little bit too much up, up at the top for my liking that uh, didn't really allow me to be as comfortable as I usually am at the net. Uh, still buttery smooth, very good feel. I'm sure um, you know for for anything that requires a lot of touch, um, you ha you get you get a good feedback from the racket. But you know anything that came a little bit too big was hard to control with the hands. Uh, you really had to be in a good position. If you weren't, a, if I was in, in a good position volleying, um, you felt like the ball was just gonna sail long. So again, it's just that theme of a l fairly uh, top heavy racket um, at the net sometimes can be a little trickier. Uh, and if you're not strong enough to keep the racket stable, it might be a little tougher for you if you're, if you're looking to get this racket for volleying. But again, at the same time, you can always fix that adding lead tape at the bottom. Now for returns, actually the mass of the racket really helps, um, you know, keeping the racket stable through the shot. Um, I actually really enjoyed, I liked it more for first serves um, that came a little lower, more like waist high. Um, and that you're just kind of blocking it back and the racket kind of does the work for you, you know, because it's a little bit more top heavy. So I did enjoy it for returning. Kick serves, I struggled a little bit. I, I hit a good amount of them late, but again, if I, you know, trained enough with the racket, I would kind of get a feel for uh, how fast the racket swings and adjust accordingly. But overall, good for returning, very good for returning. If you're not str too strong, uh, the racket will help you a little bit, but also easy to, you know, hit a bit late just because you kind of have to swing that, all that, that mass at the top. Again, is that, you know, it, that, that plow through can really send the ball uh, flying. Uh, but if you do, if you do make good contact and you're able to control, control a little bit the racket head so it doesn't uh, shoot the ball out too, too soon. I think you're going, uh, you're going to like the racket for returning. All right, so final thoughts. Um, again, this racket really caught me by surprise. There were, I was expecting something much more like a prestige, uh, but that's not what I got. It, was, uh, it is a player's racket. Uh, it does remind me a little bit of the, the Fed Pro staff, which it's also a big player's racket and, and it really sends the ball. But because of the 1820 pattern, I was expecting a much more controllable racket. And, you know, again, from what I read online, much more maneuverable. But that was just not my experience. I thought um, it was a fantastic racket. Like the feel of the racket was fantastic, uh, but it wasn't necessarily as maneuverable as I thought. Um, and it was definitely a little bit powerful where, you know, I was having some wild misses uh, on the court. So if you're looking to get into this racket, keep those things in mind because um, it's not necessarily the most controllable one stock uh, if we add some weight I think it would it would change a little bit and not necessarily the most maneuverable uh, so you've got to be strong to play with it uh, so make sure you keep those those two things in mind on the other hand it feels incredibly smooth um, I think it's actually e fairly easy on the arm for you know as heavy as it is you don't get a ton of vibrations when you hit the ball bad, uh, which for most people, you know, if you suffer from tennis elbow, things like that, or problems with your shoulder, I actually, I actually think this could be a, a pretty good racket. And again, if you're looking for a good racket for serving, I was very impressed with this one. So, so maybe go out and try it out. Uh, again, rackets is a lot about feel, and all my reviews are always going to be, you know, 
what I felt with it, um, you know, because we all played so differently. Rackets are, you know, it's such, it's such a personal thing. But in my experience, man, that was a it was a good racket for serving. It was a good racket overall, uh, just not balanced the way I would like it. But it could be perfect for you. So I do recommend you go try it out. Um, and if you're looking to buy, if you already tried it out, uh, if you're looking to buy, we'll leave a link below for you guys. So that's it for the VCore Pro 97 HD. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are having a ton of fun reviewing rackets. I love hitting with a bunch of different rackets, seeing what's on the market. Um, if there's a racket you want us to review, let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any other questions, like, again, feel free to, to ask us. Um, follow, us on, follow us on social media at MyTennisHQ on Instagram and at MyTennisHQ underscore on Twitter. Uh, visit MyTennisHQ.com. We're doing a lot of racket reviews out there and there's instructional articles. There's, there's, thing, there's articles for, for anything you can possibly imagine. So go check that out and I'll see you guys on the next one.